Bloody hell, I barely made it. Come on, Katia, let's get you some meds, dude. Oh, she's crying. She can't take it. I like the fact that they are... Uh, We were attacked at night. Sveta was angry and argued with us. It wasn't easy to calm her down. Someone tried to rob us. They were a tough and mean bunch, but they didn't do much harm. We had some weapons, but not for everyone. None of us were wounded, but the attackers walked off with many valuable things. We should put more people on guard. So they got a, they got a bit of stuff there. Right. Katya needs to... Uh... Come on, Katya. What? Can Katya not be healed now? Jesus, man. Well, maybe maybe she needs like more advanced medicine that I haven't made yet or something. Let's just send her to bed. No, look, she's just sitting there. I can't do anything with her. Do we have to kill? Is there no other way? That's true. We didn't even get any other, you know, materials that night either. Bruno's recovering from his wounds still. Sveta's like freaking. Sveta's broken. She's like lost it. Well, let's just end the day and uh, start the night. Right, Katia is sleeping in bed now. She's she's broken as well. Apparently it's like when they've they're totally broken their mood, they just can't do anything. Um I can't see like they're so depressed they can't do anything now. So they're just they can't guard or do anything, they're just absolutely shattered. It's a very difficult thing because it's like, you know, running in and killing people, it's like it's actually you know, I, I was thinking that's going to be like a legitimate way, but it's actually like stopping you from doing things. Right, you're going to have to guard, dude. It's just us. We're the only two left. Everyone is depressed. Pavel is depressed as well now. But, you know, like, what do you want? How can we uh, survive? These guys have got some food. Shelled school. Huge amounts. Some homeless people. This guy's still got huge amounts of food, so we need to go. Pavel needs to go back here. Right, we've got quite a lot of gear, but we're going for specific stuff. We want food and uh, we want wood, basically. See, we want this stuff. We want food and wood. Right, let's go, Pavel. He's tooled up. He's like. <laughs> Pavel is hungry and depressed. Yeah, killing in this game is not the greatest option right now because, um, yeah, it just pisses everyone off. Which makes me wonder sort of how, I mean, we can try this another time, but um, trying to do it without killing anyone seems incredibly difficult. Like, really, really hard. So let's get some stuff before we have to worry about anything else. Okay, I don't want that. We need food. I mean, the thing is, people get upset with this. Um, even if you, like, take other people's food, they get, like, really upset. Like, oh no, we left them with nothing. And it's like, well, I'm trying to survive here, guys. It's not, like, uh, it's not easy as anything, is it? Right, we've got a few things. We need food. That's what we need. Oh, 
I wonder if you can just point a pistol at people or whether you actually have to kill them. Oh yeah, they've got loads of stuff down here, remember, but um... Maybe just the threat of this pistol is going to be enough. Right, this guy's sleeping. These guys don't seem to be reacting very much. Oh shit, these are the bad guys. Fuck you, my friend. Yay, yeah, fucking bastards. Christ, the guys back at home are not going to be pleased about that. What can I do? That guy was coming for me. Live and let, you know, live and let die. Jesus, look at all this. Here we are, bandages. Food, glorious food. Plus jewellery as well, look. Fuck this. Food. Jewelry. Jewelry can go trade up or something instead. I prepared this secret stash behind the fridge, like you asked. I already put some stuff there, see if it works for you. we got here. Some cigarettes. We need food is what we need. The guys back out of the house are not going to be pleased though. More dead people. Oh, like 10 water. Grab that. That's going to have to do for now. Uh, last thing though, check this guy up here. See if he's got anything good. Ooh, there's a medicine cabinet there as well. It's got a weapon. I don't... I feel like if I leave it though... <coughs> I'm going to drop some more components. It's in the medicine, medicine cabinet. Shit, more bandages and stuff. Well, that's going to stay there. That's not going anywhere. This, what's this guy got? Let's get out of here. In my defense, right? That guy was coming for me. I couldn't do anything about that. He was coming for me, like, with the freaking knife. Like, what do you want? I tried to just, like, point the gun down, but he was not having any of it. So, no choice. I'm back against the wall. The guys at home are going to be sad, though. Maybe if I do that, like, build an armchair thing, it's going to make him happier. I need to find this, like, broken guitar so we can repair the guitar. And then we can all, like, sing happy songs about, like, how mean it is to kill people. That's what, well, that's what needs to happen, really. Gonna have to finish up soon there, guys, unfortunately. Dear 13. Yeah, Katty's going to be... When will this shit end? I won't have another death on me. Oh, he's gonna be broken now as well. Like everyone's freaking broken. Everyone's everyone's just gonna end up sitting around in the house like crying. Katty is bleeding. It looks like she won't make it. No. <laughs> 
no! Katia was overcome with grief and couldn't sleep, so Bruno was trying to console her. This is bad. Pavel is broken. Katia is lethally wounded and also broken. Katia, what did they do to her? Where is she? She's here. She's just crying in a corner now. She's just bleeding to death now. There's nothing we can do. She's screwed. Sveta is also broken. Katia's lost too much blood. And this game is like brutal. Pavel, he's like, fuck this shit. Like, he's just had enough. Bruno, still wounded after days. <sighs> we can't lose her. What else are we going to do, dude? Maybe he can like bandage her or look after her or something. So it gives options for them to like interact with each other. Bruno is like the, the, the last guy like keeping it together. Come Bruno, saw out. Uh, I'd love to exchange stuff, dude. Oh, he's bandaging her up. Cool, cool. Maybe this will help her live. There you go, Bruno. She's bandaged. Right, maybe that will help. Right, let's go deal with the door. Maybe uh, if Bruno gets up there, he can find some food or something, because we need uh, we need some carrots and onions. This game is actually... It's deceivingly difficult. It's it's it, although it's just a point and click game, it's brutal. Yeah, seriously, dude, let let us make a deal. I hope you've got food. Oh, he's got like fuck all food. But he has got cigarettes. Uh, what do you want for your food? We need food. Quality roll up. Take all your cigarettes, dude. Maybe the smoking will cheer everyone up. I give this guy some sugar. And what else? Keep all that crap. Four knives now. Right, this guy wants a lot for his materials and shit. Okay, maybe not all of those then. Four, dude, for four. Come on. Damn it, we need Katty up here. She's got the sweet talk. Oh, he's gonna take everything I've got for fucking this tins of food. Okay, just. I'm giving quite a lot here for this. I feel. I feel like this is not a fair deal. We're giving up a lot. I need to do some. What I need is food so I can do like the simple raids and things. Some wood need to keep the house warm. 
Bruno is still wounded and very, very hungry as well. Let's see if we can at least make some firewood. Let's put all, all of the wood. All of the wood into this. Maybe Katia will recover and not die now we've bandaged her up. <laughs> Gamer says, uh, tobacco relaxes you and relieves stress. Like the kind of stress you get when you have to murder other people for tins of beans. <laughs> oh dear. You know, I would say though, it's tragic that we are having to kill other people and stuff, but at the same time, let me just rationalise that this is a, you know, apocalypse situation. It's like brutality and um, you would you would think that at least one person hit like they all seem to have the same attitude which is fine because maybe they've all moved in the house to get along but you would think that like one person would have a kind of like look this is shit guys and we all know it is but it's just one of these things that needs to happen you know I think someone would have kind of like a bit of a grip right Bruno you've been doing hard work dude so you get to eat that Good. I'm sure did put ration here. Let's um let's feed Pavel. Hey dude, come on. Eat up. Come on. Good. Let's have a little chat. No, he's like, come on man. Get a grip. Pavel, you listen to me, my friend. What do you want? Just to remind you, you're not alone here, dude. I feel like this talking is important. Try and grab them together. Send them down to Sniper Junction. No. I want to make it through and I need your help, man. Eagle. Stop crying and pull your Celtic pull your socks up. We're running out of time, but I don't know what we can do because it's night time and everyone else is having a freaking nervous breakdown. Oh, Jesus. This is not a good situation. What we need to do now is get to a really safe place where we know everything is. Um, the gas station was there, but it was locked up, right? So let's try to go back there and see what we can find. Take like two lock picks. Shouldn't need anything else. Come on, Bruno, you can make it, man. You can freaking make it. You're the only one keeping us all together right now. He's gonna keep us hanging on. Come on, Bruno, you can make it, dude. Oh, we need the saw, don't we? We need the saw. Shit. And we can't get through here, or can we? Well, maybe we can. This would be good if we can. Great. Can't go downstairs though, but um let's see what else we can find. Lots of wood. Take all of that. What the hell man, there's still someone there. Okay, we'll tentatively go and speak to this person in a minute. Because that guy there could be, uh, you never know, he could be someone very helpful. He could be our saviour. Ooh, look at all this. Well, we definitely need uh, some components. 
want to take too much though, because we need space for other things. Bruno does take his time to get places now. We need food is what we need. I don't imagine I'm going to find it up here. Let's just pull this off. Just on the off chance. Yeah, more rubbish. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Man is out here. Come on, Bruno, you can make it, dude. Carefully folded little origami flower idea of a man named Milos. And we can escape. No, 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 no. Well, we still need a saw blade of a kind. I suppose we may as well, uh, actually let's just see what's on this thing here. Fertilizer and sugar. We'll just grab what's left in this. And then we'll go back. No food though, which is bad news for everyone. Not good news at all. Still, we did get some useful things. Let's hope. Oh, I wonder if we got raided. Because nobody was on guard, because everyone's like so shattered and broken. Oh shit, I think Katty is dead. Oh, we got raided. Katty left the shelter. We don't think she'll be back. Katty just walked out. She's like, I can't handle it. Someone robbed us, they took all our food. Pavel was wounded. God damn. And well, Pavel's not broken anymore, but Katy is gone. Katie lost hope that we could survive here. She might be home, she might be right. Bruno's really upset. He wanted Katia to stay. I can't believe we got all that shit stolen. It's ridiculous. Bruno needs to sleep. Plenty of stuff for wood now. Mm. 
I'm gonna make an armchair because maybe that will cheer them up a little. Be able to sit with an armchair. Where can I put this thing? We have no chance. We can't stop the bandits from doing whatever they want. Didn't we have a gun? I don't understand this. Like, I'm pretty sure we had a... Screw this. Come on, build it. You wanted to stay here. You're no Katia, that's for sure. Actually, she needs to eat our last tin of food. She's slightly sick as well, so I'll give her some medicine. Well, I think we've learned one lesson, which is try and avoid killing people at all costs. But that's very difficult. Take some meds here. taking enough meds. Right, there we go guys. Right, we're gonna finish uh, Last uh, last of Us. <laughs> this War of Mine. It's got that same kind of ambience, you know. Uh, we're gonna finish This War of Mine now. Tragedy though. Katia leaves. It's an interesting one. I think, uh, I don't know whether, uh, if we play again, might continue on from here, might start again. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting. I, I really like this game. It's got a very nice sort of feel. Well, not nice, but it's got a very poignant feel about it. It's the kind of game that I really love and really would get into with this kind of thing. You create your own narratives a little bit and um, the mechanics and systems in the game work really fantastic as well, so yeah. If you've ever played the game, I recommend trying it out. Um, it's not a very expensive game, it's on Steam, so yeah, go check it out. Uh, they did a free DLC, I think, as well the other day, or it was a very, it was like a charity DLC, so you could just pay a small amount and it gave some more extra options. And there we go. I'm just going to save and I'm going to go to the menu. Jill, can I? Oh, I don't think you can save. I think it just, um, yeah. I think it just, like, does it, basically. It saves the game automatically. So you can go continue, basically. You can do this write your own story thing, where you adjust this. Oh, I see. So this is basically what it is. You have to survive long enough until you get to a ceasefire. You can adjust the intensity of the conflict, you can choose uh, who your starting people are. So you can see that there's loads of different people here now. So you can choose from these different people. You can choose when winter is, its harshness, its length. You can choose city map, locations, etc. So yeah, there we go. It's a nice little addition that they made. Yeah, there we go, guys. Um, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> of a sort, but um, yeah, it was very good, very interesting. There we are.